My name's Sophie Pratt. My name is Chloe O'Keefe. Graduated in 2010. And my name is Lee Purdy. Claire McCormack. I graduated in 2011. I graduated July 2012. My name's Joe Strange. I'm George Kelly. And I'm Sam Cayley. I'm currently studying a BA in Sports Studies. I've um, just finished my second year studying Sports Studies with BA Honours. Stuart University of Bedfordshire and I'm on a BA Sports Studies course. My name is Lee. I have been working for six years at Club Santa now and my position here is Green Team uh, Manager. In 2010 we basically started to get students uh, of University of Bedfordshire and the first year we had uh, two students over which were Chloe and Sophie and basically because we were so happy with what we had been seeing during their let's say uh, assistant time we decided to offer them a contract although at that time the staff situation was not that easy to fit them all in but we did because we were so happy with them. The internship that was uh, offered to me was perfect for leaving in third year. It was everything, we had to do absolutely everything. You're thrown into uh, running tournaments, thrown into teaching, um, coaching, standing behind a desk, interacting with guests, different cultures all the time. And it's something I've always wanted to do. I wanted to teach sport in the sun and it was just perfect. So once I got here, you know, I saw that the first lot that had come here had, had stayed and I thought that's exactly what I'd like. Um, it was once in a lifetime opportunity, so I couldn't say no. It's absolutely fantastic. The Green Team has many different roles. So we're sports coaches, we have entertainment hours in the evening, we're in the Green Team show on a Monday night. We're out here, we're not just out here to make tea for everyone else, we're actually part of a team. And, and the guests and the Green Teamers themselves actually view you as that. Working here will give you different opportunities and then what just working in England will be. Uh, you have to know that if they come and work with us, they have to work within a team. And they, all the students that we've had until now have liaised very well within that team. They are very well liked between their colleagues. Um, and that's very important for me as well. A couple of times people have mentioned that the team kind of becomes your family away from home. We get so close, they're not just work friends that we're working with, it's social friends as well, all tied into one. You know, you'd be walking around and suddenly you hear your name get shouted down the hallway and you realise it is a kid or a, an adult who you taught three or four months ago. And it really is fantastic when they come back and they are totally over the moon that you're still here. When I first came, it was just a bit daunting because obviously I didn't know what to expect. However, coming with Sam and Joe was, was a lot more beneficial because I felt more that I wasn't by myself. The lecturers kept them going on about how important it was for me to self-reflect. And at the time, I was thinking, oh, why are we doing this? It's, it's not important. Um, but now I'm here, now I've been in this situation, now I've grown. I've come to realise that it's imperative. I wasn't a very confident person when I came out here. I didn't like standing in front of groups and talking. But coming out here I've realised what some of my weaknesses are and what my strengths are and what I need to work on. It was only this week, wasn't it, that somebody yeah. came to us and he recognised that we were from Bedford and that Leanne and Leith were also from Bedford and also the other students, Joe, Georgia and Sam. And he said, you've obviously had a very good education because you're all out here you're doing a really good job and he was really interested in you know, finding out something more about the universities. The lecturers at university uh, keep on going on and on about employability skills and preparing you for work. The employability skills that I learnt through my course from university, we could apply straight into this working environment. Communication, uh, presentation, um, being able to talk to people who aren't um, the same language, uh, the same age, is very important when you come out here. And I mean all of these things you learn in the units just are constantly highlighted and emphasised. They're also very um, good with taking initiative, coming up with new ideas, setting up new activities. And they have a way where they are very well spoken, where they bring their ideas but without being overwhelming or pushy. They have a very good way in speaking their mind, let's say, and that's something we appreciate a lot as well. So I think if I wanted to go somewhere else to work, if they see you've got a, a degree in, in this course and have a ref reference from a sports facility like this, you know, it puts you quite ahead of everyone else, I think. Working here at the summer, I've rubbed shoulders with the Paralympic South African team, which is also going to be a great addition to my CV. I think it's very important and it's very good that UOB do offer this international 
course for students. I would really strongly recommend, if you've got the opportunity to do it, put yourself in that position. I chose to study sports studies at Bedford because during the open day we were told about an internship at a Club Santa resort which was not given to us by other university at the open days. It's like we've skipped all the middle part and got straight to the best bit. The transition from us becoming students into getting our job here was just, it was just so easy because we put in the work, we used our skills that we gained from university, the skills that we developed whilst we were here. We were just really lucky in, in that they gave us opportunities here that we could never replicate back in England or I imagine it's very hard to replicate anywhere else in the world.